Brunetti. Oh, not the bridge over. Hey, cut. Hey, cut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bring that up. Hello, and welcome to Fantasy Football League. This week, our guest managers are Eddie Large, Andrew Ridgely, and Basil Brush. We'll be recreating the most dramatic FA Cup final finish of all time. And we'll be saying a big hello to Bobby Tambling. Hello, I'm Bobby Tambling. Hello! Oh, Bobby Tambling, Chelsea's greatest ever goal scorer, the symbol of the golden age. The golden age that might just be coming back. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tambling Man, when you played for Chelsea, they were such a glory team. They had players made of dreams, so I supported them, and they turned to cack. <laughs> the team I went to watch was not packed with glorious names: Steve Finiston, Trevor Aylott, and Brian Basin. <laughs> I don't even know who that is, nor him, nor him, nor him. No idea, search me to know who that is. Oh, I think that's Mickey Droy. And he was hardly Pele now, was he? <laughs> the things I've had to put up with are just unspeakable. In 1977, Graham Wilkins was third highest scorer with eight own goals. <laughs> And then last Saturday, Gavin Peacock scored two goals. Goals that were gold in my soul. Are we finally out of the hole? I've even begun to like Tony Cascarino. <laughs> so hey, Mr. Tambling Man, be there at Wembley on that FA Cup final morning. We'll sing the colour is blue. Mr. Tambling Man, Mr. Tambling Man, I haven't got any cup final tickets yet. <laughs> Mr. Tambling Man. That was a sneaky appeal for cup final <laughs> tickets, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and I haven't had sex for six weeks. <laughs> I'm, I'm not paying a tout 200 quid again. <laughs> What about Stan Flashman? <laughs> <laughs> but first, a few things we noticed from watching football this week. We were all very pleased to see Eric Cantona getting the PFA Player of the Year award. This will go nicely with a whole host of awards he won while playing in France. There was the Most Accurate Throw Award. <laughs> which he won in conjunction with the Leaving the Pitch in the Biggest Hoff Trophy. <laughs> Not content with all those, he went on to win the award for the most accurate throw by a player who hasn't got the ball. <laughs> and then he won the prize for the highest tackle of the season. <laughs> and lastly, the French Football Supporters Association gave him a special award for incident that gave fans most opportunity to go... Hello, oh, Stato. You got any Cantona statistics for us? Well, you not Cantona, but all the people, all the fans that have watched him for the clubs in France and England love him, and he's got a tremendous strike rate for all the clubs he's played for. And he's a winner. He's won the French Championship with Marseille. He's won the English Championship with Leeds. He's won the English Championship <laughs> with Manchester United. He scored 19 times in 37 times for the yeah, French national title. Yeah, he's okay, a winner. He's okay, the fan's okay, player. Stato, okay, they'll give you hiccups. I shouldn't do that. All right. <laughs> Look, get, get on with it. Why don't you introduce your news round then in a sort of a Cantonar-esque, flamboyant, continental way? All right, if that's what you want. Now it's time for my news round. Ha he ha. Bonjour and bienvenue to my news round. The way the BBC de Fantasy League is mirroring the Premiership de Calling is bordering on the historique. After being hounded by David and Karen for several weeks, long-time leader Basil Brush has been caught. It's a two-point lead to Le Mans for Mon Grand Ami David. In a quiet week, two clean sheets accounted for most of his points. Basil is still there, though. He conceded one goal by West Ham's Miklosko, but his football connaissance and je ne sais quoi have done him no harm. 
A clean sheet from Berg to Blackburn helped keep him in contention. Quel dommage, but no luck for this week's guest, Monsieur Eddie Legrand. His joie de vivre severely tested by Brian Gunn and the five goals conceded contre Alain Ballon's Southampton. In the same game, Le Tizier, avec three goals and an assist, helped our manager of the week, Sue Johnson, to 16 points. But bonjour, tristesse, and déjà vu for our other guest, Andrew Ridgely. Another minus week despite yet another goal from Alan Shearer. So as we approach the final run-in, it looks like au revoir to André Epier. Fantastic stuff. Now there's been a lot of speculation about the new manager of the Golders Greenbacks. All sorts of celebrity football fans have been mentioned, Rod Stewart, Elton John, John Major. But no, we aimed a little bit higher than that. Have we got somebody? Oh, we've got somebody, all right. We've got somebody who's going to put this show back where it belongs. After the golf. <laughs> <laughs> it's someone really good, isn't it? Mm. You've done this, haven't you? You've gone out and you've scoured the nation. I love you for that. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, just brace yourselves, right? Because here we have the new manager of the Golders Greenbacks. <laughs> Do they have to settle for that stupid Where? <laughs> now that... No, no, what's... Well, you know, we don't let him on the settee. What's going on? Special occasion, right? This is the new manager of the gold... <laughs> <laughs> and he left the door on the latch. Did he? Yeah. Oh, there's no... That's unforgivable. This is the new manager of the gold as Greenback. Oh, can Hi, we... how are you? <sighs> yes, couldn't we get anyone? Giles Brandreth. No. <laughs> Wolf from Gladiators. <laughs> Couldn't even get Wilf from Gladiators. <laughs> yeah. All right then, Stato. Great to see you <laughs> hey, again. Stato, hey, Stato, looking Stato, good. Yeah. Let's have a look at your team. I there you go. I see you've changed the name. No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, he has. He has changed the name. Wait, when did I do that? Never mind when. You've changed the name, right? Anyway, what, what are your plans for the team? Well, I think it might be worth getting rid of uh, Mark Bright and getting. Right then, you're sacked. Eh? Uh, have you have you sacked him? Yeah. Cut and thrust the management, eh? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So let's see what's on the tail end, shall we? Does that, does that mean I'm not a manager anymore? No, you've been sacked, mate. Oh. Go on, start up. <laughs> <laughs> Bit sad, eh? Mm. Never liked him much anyway. <laughs> Come to the game this Saturday. It'll be a great game. A game to tell your children about. Don't miss the game. What a marvellous advert for the game. Yeah, wasn't it? Can show me the way to the complex department, please? Oh, no, it's that really long uh, Julie Walters advert for the BBC, you know, the, the one we are not in. Oh, dear, that is a shame. Yeah, we're going to miss it now. And Robert Hardy hadn't appeared in period costume yet. Yeah, I love that bit. It'll be on six or seven times in the next hour. What do you mean, without us? Yeah, they'll probably put Fred Housego in it by then as well. Bloody good driver, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness! Oh. It's Eddie Lodge and Andrew Ridgely! Andrew Ridgely and Eddie Lodge, Andrew Ridgely and Eddie Lodge and Eddie Lodge, Andrew Ridgely and Eddie Lodge. Oh, what a joy! We got the scale electrics in for you, Andrew, because uh, you like. It scale looks looks on. much like I left my uh, last car that I raced. What with a huge cat? Oh, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you see that in the paper? Oh, oh, no. nearly, nearly killed. Yeah. Go science fiction. Ridgely and falling cat scandal. You must have read that. No, no. I didn't. <laughs> well, your, your teams are both doing all right, really, at the moment. I no, mean, they're doing yeah, terrible. Yeah, it's diabolical. <laughs> I meant the, the football me, teams they David. support. Oh, those teams. You mean Arsenal and Man City? <laughs> those are the teams I meant. Yeah. Oh yeah, Man City, sensational, eh? Well, Three wins on the trot, it's a record breaker. Well, it looks like they're going to escape, do eh? Escape what? Relegation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I meant relegation. Yeah, right? of course, they'll escape. They'll win again tomorrow. Sunday, isn't it? Who have they, they got? <laughs> Norwich. Because my great Brian Gunn plays for Norwich, so mixed feelings on Saturday. And Arsenal are absolutely on the crest of a wife for that win Brian on Wednesday. Wednesday. <clears throat> You're going to go to right Copenhagen the for the final? Um, I don't believe I am, no. I think uh, I'm in France at, uh, on, that, on that particular date. God, so. you're a bit of a jet setter, Andrew, I've got to say. <laughs> Did you just come back from holiday? I have, yes. Where, yeah. where were you? We went to the Gambia. Right. My wife's choice, not mine. Right. 
<laughs> so we won't be going back. Oh, really? Have you, have you split it up? <laughs> <laughs> no, she stayed. At, the request oh, right, yeah. the, at the request of the Gambians. Yeah. So, what's it? You think you didn't have a good time? She sounds like a fantastic place. She had a wonderful time. Yeah. Oh, what's up with Because you, you're all over the place, Andrew. The last time. Well, that's you what came. his wife thinks. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the people at the race interact. <laughs> no, yeah, you, where, you just jet set all the time. Where, where were you before that? Um, Kentish Town. Right, blimey. Particularly Jet Set. What, the wife like that? <laughs> she loved it, too, yeah. Because I read this in the paper that you, you're a bit of a surfing fanatic. Is that true or is it, is it paper talk? No, 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 I do surf. Yeah. Not Where, in which Kentish paper Town. are you reading? The surfing Not in town. Kentish Town. <laughs> <laughs> the Kentish Town Surfer, it's called. <laughs> Uh, so what we wanted to talk about um, was this New England thing that they're doing whereby they, they can't play the game in Germany. So instead, they're going to have a. Kick I, I, I don't understand. This can't play the game in Germany because it's Hitler's birthday. Because the next game, I think, when they play Greece, I think, is on uh, Charles Aznavour's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, they should have thought about that. Nobody's complained about loads of Charles Aznavour fans turning up, you know, and crooning the chants or anything really? like that. <laughs> <laughs> but so, that, do you think this kick about? I mean, that's what they're going to do. The England players are just going to play each other. Is that right? Well, it'd be another game without a defeat, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But who, who are your favourite England players? Who's your favourite England player, Andrew? Um, at the moment, uh, it was my boy Shearer um, and, and Platt. Mm. Um, I think they're, they're very solid lads. Yes, yes. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Good <Yeah>? surfers. <laughs> <laughs> Platt's become all sort of Italian, hasn't he, just slightly? He's started doing all these, these big gestures and stuff. Have you noticed that? Throwing himself on the floor and doing this to the referee. I've noticed. And I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I really love. What? Right? It's that bit in Making Your Mind Up by Box Fizz when they rip the women's skirts off. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> what? Does that have to do with David Platt? Well... <laughs> see? See? They all thought I was just being laddish and horrible, but... Uh, Oh, but that'll be another five minutes, I should think. <laughs> Did David Platt go on to present record breakers as well? No, that was Cheryl Baker. Oh, it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he's captain now, isn't he? Mm. Is he captain now? Last time he was. Yeah, would he be your yeah. choice for captain, Eddie? Um, my favourite, I think, is Peter Beardsley, actually, you know what I mean? I love him. I mm. can't remember really David <laughs> Platt. What's <laughs> 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 David Platt? Yes, <laughs> Have you not seen me play like him, have you? <laughs> no, but I'll, I'll, I think Peter Bl Peter, <laughs> Peter Beardsley, I think he's fabulous. I really do. Yeah, I think I think the reason that Platt is captain is because he's sort of a he's sort of a prefect figure, he's sort of clean, living, wholesome, articulate sort of player. A bit like Ray Wilkins. Oh, yeah. hey, fucking ball. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, hey. Uh, it's, it's interesting that, because a lot of people, I remember when he was in Chelsea, didn't think Ray Wilkins was a very hard player, but the ball boy at that match was actually Ronnie Cray. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you've been tangled, eh? Anyway, let, let's have a look at Eddie's team, because we're all dying to see what's oh, gone horribly that, wrong. Eh? There they are. Yeah. And you've changed, you've changed the name, because you were Swales Out City. Yeah, and it day. worked. So, and you got rid uh, of him. He, where, where he is now, I don't know. But uh, we don't care, do we? Franny's in, obviously. So I know it's Franny's in City. Franny's in, yeah. yeah. We've got actually a brilliant goal here from Francis Lee, and I love Barry Davis's commentary on this one. Lee, interesting. <laughs> yes. Very oh. interesting. Oh. <laughs> look at his face. Just look at his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Commentating and playing the saxophone at the same time. <laughs> Hey, speaking of commentators, can I do my David Coleman impression? Certainly you oh, can. Oh, obviously, you'll love this. This is David Coleman all over. Right? Hands in pockets. Well, just while they pause for more uh, mature consideration in London, we're going to move to the match of the day. And I must say, it's a match that we all wish we could see in Mexico City. Chelsea versus Leeds in the first division. Well, I think I speak for everybody here Ooh. when I say that was rubbish. Not <laughs> that good for it. Well, you say that. Well, just while they pause for more mature consideration of them, we're going to move on to the match of the day. And I must say, it's a match that we wish we could see here in Mexico City. Chelsea versus Leeds in the first division. <laughs> just like him, eh? Hey? Hey? 
I can see it now. Yes, see, everyone thinks it's all that. Oh, marvellous, but no, no, he's, he's more... Cl he's clipped. He's clipped, that's what he is. So, let's have a look at... Clipped? Yeah, stop saying that. <laughs> sorry, 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 I went there for a minute. We're getting towards the end of the season now, and uh, let's have a look at the way your league positions have changed over the course of uh, 14 week season so far. Because we've got sure. Stato to put together a chart. Well, it was all in crayon originally, but we've had <laughs> 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 Mine's a model of consistency there, really. Yeah. Well, you, it's very cons I think you, you soared to ninth position, mm. I think, first really? week of the season. Yeah. I and missed then, those highs. Yeah. <laughs> and since then, it's been sort of bottom, bottom, but one. And Eddie, you had, you had your money. I had a, yeah, third week. They were all doing well for me. I had goal, goalkeeping problems. I mean, it's like last week, and if I had anybody to do any different to what I did, one of the few managers that's got two goalkeepers. Well, there's about 13 One... others that have done different to you. Yeah, no, but I'm saying last week I've got Gunn and Southall. Norwich are at home to Southampton with Gunn in goal. Everton are away to West Ham with Southall in goal. So who do I play? Obviously, Gunn. 5-4, mm. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's it's what's been of... happening to my team. It yeah. is a bit of a thick note. We actually, um, can we have a look at Andrew's team? Because it's, it's sober sure. reading. Shearer, yeah, on, on 42, mm. of course. Mm. Oh, what I was going to ask, because uh, well, we always see Shearer getting goals. Has he actually got any assists for Andrew this season? He's got one or two. Uh, oh, yeah. You all right? No, I'm just not feeling very well. You've got, you've got a stomachache. Oh, stato? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, God. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> they're they're dropping like flies, right? yeah. Uh, and also on Andrew, we looked at your team, Andrew, we noticed that your centre-backs are, are bold and ready. Yes. Right. Yeah, but what are their names? No, 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 no! The centre-backs are bold and ready! Right. No, 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 he dropped right. When Arsenal played Liverpool, Mark Wright had to mark right. <laughs> oh, it was very difficult. Well, he's sharp and speedy. No, no, no. Karen Brady's got sharp. Oh, that's Batty. No, 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 she hasn't got Batty. The midfielder, the midfielders <laughs> feeling the fullbacks' dicks. Oh! <laughs> I thought that, I thought the midfielders Holden, the attackers Penrice. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but he's getting limper. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. And then, and then, and, and, and I say, and then he's clipped. And then, that's the Man United reserve keeper. Oh, this is Seely. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, the centre forward's right. Don't oh, start. We've finished it now. Oh, that's it. Oh, come on, we tried. Yeah, we that was vaudeville, yeah. you people. You don't appreciate that, right? Good. Vaudeville, Eddie, you were there. Well, I'd have finished on the oh feeling God, dicks, but never mind. Who <laughs> in the wide, wide world of sports is that? Oh, it's Paul Brush! 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 Hello, Paul. Good evening. Nice to see you. You are, of course, Battle Brush's assistant manager. For anyone who doesn't know. Where is Basil tonight? Uh, he's making his own way here. I think he's coming on the tube. Oh. We were talking about the England kick around. Now, now you used to be a professional footballer. Uh, oh, God, you used to be a professional oh, footballer. Yeah. Can we have the... Uh... That's better. <laughs> uh, we were talking about this, uh, <laughs> this England kick around. When players played in sort of so-called friendly games between themselves, did they sort of relax and regard it as a stroll? or? Not the reserve team, because they always had something to prove. If they could get rid of someone who's in the first team, they could get in and take their place. So the tackle's got a bit... A little bit. Anyway, Paul, um, we've just been talking about poor old Eddie and Andrew struggling in the league, but you've been doing incredibly well, so let's have a look at your team. Uh, what's going on? Oh, dear. Oh, my God, what's happening? Oh! What's happening? Oh! oh. oh. Oh, look at him, covered in blood. Oh, oh God. God. Hello, Basil. Nice to see you. Hello, anyway. Mr. Frank. Hello, Mr. David. Hello. Hey. Hey. Great to see you. Actually, Basil, before you go on, we must ask you, you were spotted at Celtic the what other hey? day. Yeah, you were. Yeah, look at this. Where are you? Hey. Is, that you? Is that you? That's my grandfather. It's your grandfather? Yes. Why is he, why is he streaking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't got any clues on, has he? No, yeah. that's a bit mm. odd. <laughs> Does he often run around with no clothes on? Yes, many a time I've seen him in the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. Here's one you'll like, Basil. A yes. chicken. A yeah. chicken on the pitch in a match between Atletico Madrid and Dynamo Kiev. And listen out for a cracking joke from Gerald Sinstat. The half is going to be delivered by a pitch invasion. We can say from the red and white stripes that this is a chicken Madrid and not a chicken Kiev. Oh, 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 God, dear, that's oh, one dear. of the great jokes of all time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Basil, your team yeah. is doing well. In fact, I've, I've become top of the league now. Yes, I, I have. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, I've knocked you off the top of the league, but let's, ha let's have a look at your team anyway. Yes. Cool. There it is. Had some good players, haven't we, Mr. Seto? Yeah, good side, yeah. Um, who did... Um, somebody got 25. Um, now, let's see. 28 points. Berg. Berg. He got 28 points. They're called Seto Berg. <laughs> <laughs> Berg from Blackburn. Pardon? From Blackburn. Blue, from Blackburn. No, we uh, boom, boom. And the goals for so was Adam Fairclough for 23. Yeah, you've got a good team all in. Fox for Fox, 20. Yeah. 18. Can you just leave him to it? Pardon? <laughs> Pardon? You get on very well, you two. Don't yeah, you know, very well. Off good players. Yes, very good. We're going to um, we're going to win. What? what, what are <laughs> Basil, Basil, yes. have you ever played football yourself? Oh yes, actually, um, I played professionally. Did you Did really? You, you yeah. were a professional football. Oh, dear. I was. Goodness me! What? You know what that means. Don't <laughs> you? Tell, tell, tell us about it. Um, centre forward. I wanted to play centre forward, but they told me. <laughs> <that> they... <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Basil. We're all ears. Centre forward. I wanted to play centre forward, but they told me with a name like Brush, I'd be better off as a sweeper. Hello. Hello. I'll tell him. Okay. Apparently, um, Gerald Sinstat said he'd give you 20 quid for that game. <laughs> <laughs> 20 quid? Cool. Think I've of the pokey poly you could buy for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just between you and Basil. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we work well together, I'm telling you. You could, of course, and, Andrew, you could just sell me Alan Shearer. Of oh, course. me, Alan Shearer. You could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, because you're not going to win now. And, uh, no, whoa. hold on, you can't. No, this is... There's people that put 500 quid on at Ladbrooks. Someone put 500 quid on you, actually. I know, Andrew. I know. I'm to sorry to say money wasted. <laughs> 300 quid on Basil Brush, somebody had it. I mean, hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! I think the biggest bet they've ever laid on a puppet. Yes! Well, hey. I beg you. <laughs> oh my God, that's what I said, Poppy. Um, anyway, what shall we do? Boo! I think he was talking about himself. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what should we talk about now? <laughs> Phoenix. Anyway, and now Phoenix from the Flames. This week, Sunderland versus Manchester United. Where is he? Where's Alan Sunderland? I don't know. Hello. Uh, sorry, mate, we can't talk to you now. We're looking for Alan Sunderland. Yeah, but I... Uh, yeah, I am yeah, all right, yeah. Perhaps he's missed his train or something. <laughs> you definitely said one o'clock, Look, don't didn't start you? blaming me. I said one o'clock, Alan Sunderland here. Right, that, you know, it's, not, it's not at this end that's been a problem. Alan! Oh, Alan! 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 looking great. Yeah, well, I don't get very much chance to wear it these days, obviously. Yeah. Well, it was one of the most famous afros in the 1970s. Well, I had an offer from the Jackson 5 to work with them for a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how come you left? Well, they dropped me and got Remy Moses in. <laughs> so, tell us about your goal, anyway. Well, we were 2-0 up with about five minutes to go, and we coasting, and we thought we'd won it. And then, uh, Man United went down, scored two quick goals, uh, and it looked all over a extra time or a replay and then there was a minute to go and I was just saying to the boys give me one more chance give me just one more chance anyway then straight from the kickoff balls played a Brady he took it down the middle beat a couple of players slipped it out to Rixie Rixie crossed it to the far post and there I was Right, okay, well, Frank, you be Liam Brady, okay. I'll be Graham Ricks. Oh, Alan, have you got a... Brilliant. <laughs> you be Alan Sunderland. Play John Watson. There's a minute left on the clock. Brady for Arsenal. Right across, Sunderland! It's there! It's 3-2! <laughs> Arsenal are back in front for Alan Sunderland! <laughs> 
say, you must be completely exhausted by the end of all that. Well, that's right, but what made it worse was the old Afro got completely covered in sweat and got really heavy. <laughs> that's when I decided to pack in football and concentrate on my solo singing career. You can thank the lucky stars not a star like the we are. That must have been one of your first Arsenal memories, though, I would have thought, 1979. Um, or were you in France at the time? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think at that point I was I was a bit of a Manchester United. Uh, uh, really? That must have been terribly confusing. Uh, Basil, uh, you've brought us some sort of musical instrument with you there. Oh yes, I have. Yes, um, it's um, the sitar. All oh, right. I bought my fifth sitar from an Indian named Fred. I sing best at night, so I play it in bed. You play it in bed? Yes, it's a bed sitar. <laughs> <laughs> I could be the new Ernie Wise. Mr. Roy. Oh. We've got a letter here. We've got a letter here from a Mike Levy of Brighton, and it says, Dear David and Frank, I really hate to see goalies coming out of the box to take on players. More often than not, it just leads to a goal. Well, you might be right, Mr. Levy. See the goalie coming out there on the ball? And they just dump it into the stand, probably. Oh, no. oh. oh goodness me. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I just tell you something? This is a true story. Remember the film Escape to Victory? Yeah, of course. Sylvester Stallone. <coughs> That's how he wanted the film to finish. <laughs> and the experts, Bobby Moore, Pele, Mike Summerby, said that just doesn't happen in football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, they they know, must eh? have seen that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. I heard that, um, well, you know, he played the goalie in the film, mm. Sylvester Stallone, and apparently he challenged Pele, he, after he'd played a bit, he thought he was quite good in goal. So he challenged Pele to a penalty shootout. Did you hear about this? And he said, you take ten penalties, and I think it was something like 100,000 or something, a load of money on it. And uh, penalty, penalty, uh, not penalty, Pele. His full name <laughs> was Penalty. <laughs> <laughs> they, used to, they used to call him Pele, for short. Yeah. And his, his, his surname was Spot. Of <laughs> oh, it's hot, isn't it? <laughs> and anyway, uh, Pele took ten penalties and scored ten goals, and uh, that was the end of Stallone's goalkeeping career, apparently. And there'll be more interesting tales from sport <laughs> on messed up stories we have loved. Good night to you. No, sorry. No, no I, think that is, I think that is about it, really. I think that is about it. So uh, thanks to Eddie and to Paul and to Andrew and, of course, to Basil. Uh, we don't know who next week's guests are at the moment. Well, we don't care, do we? No, we don't care. So They'll be good anyway. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey. Yeah.